Well, I talked to four lawyers. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. You know, we're having a lot of fun with our Immigration Answers show, and if you're not catching it, we've been going live every single day in January. We'll probably do four or five days a week in February, and that's where I go live for an hour or so, 45 minutes to an hour, answering as many of your immigration law-related questions as possible. And the other day, someone came on the show and said, well, I talked to four lawyers, and now she was calling me, which made that lawyer number five. I don't understand why someone would call five different lawyers. Now, maybe they're trying to piece together the information that they need in order to file the case all on their own. And we certainly have people who call the Immigration Answer Show, and it seems to be that's what they're doing. I don't think this is a good approach. I don't think this is smart. That would be like if you were wanting to build a house and you called a plumber and asked them how plumbing works, and then you called a carpenter and asked them how to build the frame of the house, and then you called a, a concrete expert to figure out how to pour the concrete. It just doesn't it's no substitute for a comprehensive look at your exact immigration situation and then coming up with a logical plan. I don't know why someone would feel the need to talk to three or four or five lawyers. I think um, when you're talking to these lawyers, you should be figuring out whether or not you want to do business with them, whether you want to hire them, just calling them up and asking them one or two random questions or as much information as you can get for free. That's not the same thing as having them look at your overall situation. So I think this is a bad idea I think that you should not do that. I don't think there's any reason to talk to four lawyers because at the end of the day, you're probably going to get different uh, expectations and different uh, understandings of what needs to happen. And that can in itself cause problems. The thing is that you people don't understand that uh, lawyers sometimes say things that are incorrect. And sometimes lawyers say things that they think you just want to hear in order to hire them. So what I try to do is to be as upright and forthright and honest and accurate in my assessment of your situation so that you can make a good decision. Now, you might present one case to me and that same case to another lawyer, and I might tell you that you have a 30% chance of winning. They might tell you that you have a 100% chance of winning. If that's the case, that could be a real problem because they might just be trying to get you to hire them. Uh, There's no such thing as a sure thing in immigration land. And I think it's much better to have your client on the same side as you, sitting beside you, understanding all the risks, all the pressures, all the hurdles, all the legal impediments that it's going to take to get you the immigration benefit that you need. And you don't want to just go along with whoever makes you feel good or whoever makes you feel happy. So I really think that's what a lot of people are looking for when they bounce from lawyer to lawyer to lawyer to lawyer. So my recommendation is learn about your case, educate yourself, pay for expertise, and you'll be in much better shape to win your case. If you have questions about this or if you want to talk about your case, give us a call, 314-961-8200. You can email us, info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that you join us uh, on our live shows, like I said, every day in January, and then uh, in the months to come, probably four or five days a week. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.